Ronnie Scott's is London's premier jazz venue. It's in Soho, which is a really buzzy area of the city, especially after dark. If you like jazz, this is the place to come. Inside, it's all musical impresarios on the wall and red leather seats, which gives it a really intimate atmosphere. You can even sit right below the stage. The club was opened in 1959 by two musicians. One was the real Ronnie Scott. Today, it hosts a range of world-class jazz musicians almost every night. It stays open until 3am, although I'm here much earlier. You could order dinner before the show, or you can just order drinks. The Apple Martini is a favourite of the club's owner, Sally Green. So what better drink to start with? Sally Green favorite cocktail. So anytime she's in the club, she needs to have two or three of them. Two or three of them? So yeah. is that why I've got two? Yeah. Excellent. I caught up with Paul Pace to talk about the full history of Ronnie Scott's. Tell me about the history of Ronnie Scott's and why it's so important. Ronnie Scott's was uh, founded by uh, two musicians, Ronnie Scott and Pete King, who were both saxophonists in 1959. It was over in Chinatown in Gerrard Street. And then it came over here in 1965 and was extended in 1969. And, and we're here in, a, in the enlarged club from there on. Uh, but their purpose was to provide a home for modern jazz, mm -hmm. which was influenced by the likes of Charlie Parker, Miles Davis, the Ah, uh, yes. The, the British musicians who followed that type of music, mm -hmm. who uh, had often gone over, gone over on the transatlantic liners, had seen the, the clubs in New York, such as the, uh, uh, the Three Juices mm -hmm. and uh, Birdland and so on, and they'd seen their uh, idols in these clubs and wanted to uh, recreate, that recreate it in London. Lovely. And that was uh, really an idea that Ronnie Scott had. So it's really the place in London to come. If you Absolutely. want to see some amazing jazz, this is where you come. It is the best place to come, uh, not only for the, the quality of the acts, but also the sound and the atmosphere. The atmosphere is, is second to none. It's actually uh, the best place to hear music. If you actually sit there, enjoy the music, enjoy the food and the atmosphere, and uh, you can't go far wrong. Well, that is why we're here. So thank you very much. Welcome to the Ronnie Scott stage. Thank you so much. This is your first time on this? Absolutely, iconic. my first time. Ronnie's is like, a, it's an iconic uh, venue, a uh, venue that my dad used to come in. He was a big jazz fan. He wow. used to come here, save his every last penny to come and see his heroes play back in the 60s and the 70s and stuff. Oh. And now, you know, the fact that his daughter's singing here so um, is really special. And it's just, you know, you look around the room, you see these incredible pictures of these iconic musicians who've been on the stage. And yeah. there's, you can feel their presence, you know, every time yeah. you perform, even if you're like not really in the mood, as soon as you get on stage, you see the audience, you're like, you're in. You know, it's a world-renowned jazz club. It's known all over the entire world. And all jazz musicians, whether they're from, you know, from Europe or from America that come and tour here, they love this venue because there's something so special about this venue. And we're so proud, you know, being Londoners and being yeah. it and having this kind of on our doorstep, you know, and that there's different music. They have all these incredible artists, touring musicians that come that, you know, the bar is great. It goes on till 3 a.m. every night. You can you never know who you're going to find, find here. I mean, Stevie Wonder walked in one night and ended up playing on stage. What? And I wasn't here, what? but yeah, so that does happen. Lady Gaga, you never know. And that's the magic of this venue. Everyone knows about it. And, uh, and you, yeah, it's a, it's a real exciting I can't wait. Thing. I can't wait. <laughs>